anticipated games in Xbox history. This yep. is Starfield. All right. Exclusive. Whoa, just kidding. Control, this is Constellation Starship Frontier. We're ready to start on your signal. Maintaining exit vector course. Steady till ready. Coordinates input. Plotting jump course. It's hard to express how excited all of Some us in Bethesda hour. are to be Some here with hour. you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. Crete. Shout out my homies at Crete. Reminds me of Destiny so much, honestly. Or like Warframe. It seems to have its own identity though, not like a copy. So that's cool. Smoke everywhere. So. Whoa. Is that your boy? Are you a human in this game? Are you a robot? According to the scanners, the abandoned research robot. facility is in this direction. Oh, you see feature there. Hey, be careful. I would not go close to that thing. That thing is going to stab you. Oh, yeah, you human. All right, all right, all right. The details, dog. The details. You can mine it. You can be collecting like materials. I'm guessing that's how you make weapons and other sort of accessories for yourself. You just broke it and didn't pick it up. I guess it auto picks. Man. It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. The Crimson Fleet. Guns. They have like 
energy coil bullets. It's like, that's a cool shotgun. I like that. We're we using bullets, and they have like these energy coils. So maybe like when we upgrade them, or maybe because in the Crimson Fleet they had different kinds of weapons compared to humans. I don't know how it works. I mean, they're obviously humans too, but you know what I mean. Okay, pick the lock. Looks like there's gonna be a lot of extra side missions along with the with the main one, which obviously is always nice side Easter eggs and different things to do. Little secrets and stuff. We need those kind of days in open world. Is he just like not paying attention, dog? What are you doing? So you can choose to be first or third person. I always I think that's really cool. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Wow. New Atlantis! Oh, planet of Jemison. Okay. But where about Hobie Earth at, dog? I hope you're able to explore this place and really dive deep into the city and not just have some sort of just go towards like the tower. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Good model. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, you know, treasure hunt. They're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So we just go and they she recruits us. So, like, okay. you found something. A new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. Vision. The artifact you found appears to be one of many scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Wow, look at all the different, Listen, like, places. The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The Fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UC Sister. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. I hope there is more We're peacekeepers who protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When I hope there's more the enemies than feet, just the no fleet. one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. So you can choose which side you're on? That's cool. I think that's what that means. But we are not stopping. Most dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road. Will change humanity forever. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story, it's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. Okay. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. You can make your, your character fat. <laughs> You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. So we want to be a diplomat, be a gangster, a explorer. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look. And Cowboy. How your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the like best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting Thank systems, you. from Thank running you. research projects with the resources you find to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. And 
you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away oh from my for survival God. and resource generation. That is great. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. That is so cool. But that's not all. That's you sick. You can even build your own Chip? ships. Oh my. I love building stuff. I think that is so cool. You can choose crew members. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. Dude. Dude. <laughs> That's so sick. It's not sick. just how the ship looks. It's how it performs from engines to shields to weapon systems, because yes, you can fly it. Oh, dude, I want some sleek design. Ship battles! Let's go! Dude, they're literally having in space dog fights. That's so sick. I need my Top Gun Maverick. Give me my sunglasses and my mustache. Asteroids and debris. I'm putting debris flying everywhere. Makes it actually feel like a real world when there's consequences we can't to your actions. Wait for all of you to experience the game, thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know hey, don't it's really tease me like like it's fallout. Really you play it mm -hmm. that the real journey begins. Mm -hmm. You heard me. And you may be wondering just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, okay. but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. Dude. And it's not just this planet. It's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource-heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, More? but over a hundred systems. Dude. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait to see what you find. If every planet has the amount of replayability that this Atlantis Crimson, I don't know what it's called, planet looks, and that is absolutely astonishing. Obviously, there's gonna be some that are barren, some that are dry bone, but oh my god, every environment's gonna look completely different from the next. This game, I don't even know how to describe it, it looks absolutely stunning. When I first saw this game, I was just like, eh. But now, like, I'm genuinely excited. Dude, how is that even a thing? Man! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Wow. Big W for Xbox. 2023 year away big w for xbox holy jesus wow might have to join that chat
might have to join that. Man, that game looks sick.